Hi everyone, Purple Witcher here. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I have a brand new video for you new Gwent players. I am going to be showing you my Northern Realms engine deck. Now I have been playing this deck for the past few months and gradually upgrading it and I do believe it is a strong deck for beginners as well as being really really fun to play. So I hope you guys enjoy watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. So guys, welcome to the Gwent deck builder where we can see the deck in full. Now it is made up of 12 gold cards and 13 bronze cards. And the main thing to note is the engine cards. So engine cards boost themselves or another unit or put more points on the board at the end of every turn, giving them a lot of points to accumulate over a long period of time. So therefore we want the rounds to be as long as possible to really get as much out of those engine cards as we can. And the engine cards are mainly soldiers in this deck. It's got a theme around soldiers, um, which is really fun to play around. So let's go and take a look at the cards. So guys, one of the most important things in any Gwent deck is the leader ability. Now the leader ability that I chose to go with this engine deck is Shield Wall, which boosts an allied unit by two and gives it a shield. Now shield protects a unit from the first instance of damage dealt to it. And it does this three times. So in my opinion, very great leader ability to have with this engine deck, which you will see in the gameplay. So a great card to go in any Northern Realms deck is Amphibious Assault, also known as AA, which is a warfare card. So it doesn't play directly on the board itself. It allows us to play a, any Northern Realms unit from our deck with a provision cost of nine or less. And the great thing about Amphibious Assault is that it has Echo, which means, for example, if I played it in round one, it would go to my graveyard. Then at the start of round two, it would move from my graveyard back into my hand, allowing me to pick another unit to play from my deck. So this is an amazing card to have in an engine deck in any Northern Realms deck at all. So Queen Meave is one of the main cards in this deck and she is actually my favourite Gwent card of all time. So every turn when she is boosted she lowers her counter from 3 down to 0 and when the counter reaches 0 she will boost all allied units on the board by 1 which is crazy when we have a lot of units which I cannot wait to show you in the gameplay. So Prince Aencys is a great control measure to have in this deck because he damages by a lot. So his order ability is to damage unit by 4, but if Prince is boosted, he will duel an enemy unit. And if you give him shield with the leader ability, he can kill very high powered enemy units quite easily. So a very great control measure to have amongst all the other engine cards. So Queen Adelaide gives you the opportunity to play a copy of another bronze unit that you already have in your hand and give it shield. So this is a very important strategy for round one with the Kerak Frigate, which I will show you very soon. Donmir of Troy is a very strong card because he is a defender. So he protects every single card that you place in the same row of him, as well as himself having shield. So the enemy cannot manually target any cards that are on the same row as Donmir, making him very, very powerful. Reynard is a new engine card that just recently came out in the new patch. He boosts adjacent units by one, but also whenever you play a new card, he boosts that card by one. So it's great to put Reynard down early in the round to make sure all the cards you play in that round are getting a boost. So next up we have the Siege Engine Foltest's Pride, which damages an enemy unit by two and the units adjacent to it by one. So a total of four damage and it has a cooldown of four. So every four turns it will do this again. However, if you have its crew ability set, which means if it is next to two soldiers, the cooldown will only be two. So every two turns it will deal this damage. So another great control card for this deck. Visigota is an amazing engine card to play early in a long round, as after you play him, every card you play and the enemy players gains him one charge. So over a long round he can easily rack up 10 or more charges and each charge allows him to boost an allied unit by one, so he is gonna give you a lot of points in a long round. 
Now, Voimir is very, very useful for when we have a lot of those volunteers on the board that are going to spawn from the Kerak frigates and the Smoke Them Out warfare cards, as he boosts an allied unit and all its copies by one and gives them one armour as well. Anna Strenger is a classic engine card. Every turn, she boosts the unit to the right by one. But if she herself is boosted, she boosts the unit to the left and the right by one, so she can rack up a lot of points in a long round as well. Egmund is great because he does damage and he boosts as well. His order ability is to damage an enemy unit by three, but every turn that you do not use this order ability, he will boost the unit to the right by one. And what makes him more powerful as well is the fact that he has Veil, so he cannot gain other nasty statuses like locks or bleeding. Marguerite is an easy one. She locks an enemy unit. So the Kerak frigates are a pretty important bronze unit in this deck. They spawn a volunteer every turn if they have the crew ability, which means it's between two soldiers and this is pretty easy to do as a volunteer that it spawns is a soldier. So we only have to play one other soldier to the left of this card and it refresh that crew ability, giving you an extra two points every turn. And this is amazing to play with Queen Adelaide to spawn another frigate with shield in round one. And then in round three, if we can get Frigate down early in a long round, this will give a lot of volunteers for Meave to boost and also for Voimir to boost as well. So Boiling Oil is another Warfare card. It's just another control measure that we have here and it deals five damage to an enemy unit. Temerian Jungers are another classic engine card. After every turn, they boost the unit to the right by one, giving you a lot of points in a long round. Kerak City Guard is another great engine card which boosts itself at the end of every turn if its order is not used and its order is to move an enemy unit which is very useful but also Kerak City Guard has Veil so she cannot get statuses like locks and bleeding and poison. Smoke Them Out is another warfare card which spawns two volunteers on a row however if we already have a boosted unit on the board, the volunteers will play for three points instead of two. So again, this is just great for this engine deck, providing another two cards for Queen Meave to boost also as well as Voimir. And finally, we have the classic Tridem Infantry. Whenever Tridem receives a boost, he will damage a random enemy unit by one. So he is very, very well placed next to the Temerian Drummer or Anna, so he is getting that boost every single turn and doing damage every single turn. Classic bronze unit. So I am going to play a game for you guys here and show you what cards I am playing and just sit back, relax and enjoy the gameplay. And it looks like we're up against Northern Realms as well, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Uh, it's a lot better than Nilfgaard for sure. So we've got Queen Adelaide, which is brilliant, but we also need the frigate for round one. So let's see if we can get the frigate in hand. Yes, we have. That's perfect. Um, maybe keep it like this, actually. Keep it like this. So we want to play Queen Adelaide first, which will spawn a copy of a bronze unit in your hand, and we're going to select the Kerak Frigate. So there we go, as you can see we have got a whole another copy of the Frigate, and she's given it shield as well. And we're basically just going to spawn as many soldiers as we can with this Frigate throughout round one. Um, so we can try and make this a, a medium to, to long round. So we need to put a soldier next to the frigate to enable that crew ability and I am going to put Radovid's Royal Guards which will boost Karak Frigate by two. So that botchling is going to damage the highest enemy unit by one at the end of every turn. So I think we should just go ahead and lock that straight away with Margarita.
Ah, oh, and they got Reynard too. Okay, so they've got a lot of engines as well, so this is going to be pretty difficult. As you can see, I'm on, e on 18, they're on 29. And don't forget to keep pressing Karak Forget at the end of every uh, turn to get that volunteer. It doesn't do it automatically, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to put Tamarian Drummer. Okay, and at this point, I am going to take a pass here. Because there's quite a big gap in points here, and I don't think I'm going to be able to, to match this tempo. So we are going to have to play round two. Usually if I win round one, I will just dry pass and go straight into round three. But uh, I don't have that luxury here, so we are going to have to try and survive round two here. Okay, this is good cards for round two. Yeah, I like I like this. I like this. I obviously want to save Meave and a frigate and Voimir for round three. Uh, but if it gets desperate, we'll we'll see what happens. Putting the Karak City Guard down first is a good option because she does collect points at the end of every turn. And they have passed, so that makes it pretty easy for us. Um, we just need to put down another card and the weakest card here. Actually, we can use Amphibious Assault because it's going to come back in round three again. Uh, we can just use this for a trident. And there we go. Yeah, so there, it comes back into our hand from our graveyard there. And this is looking pretty good, to be honest. I was going to say, the only other thing we could hope for is Domnia. Uh, maybe a, a smoke them out, but... Maybe swap Anna. Oh, we got Reynard. Good. Good swap there. Uh, so we want to put Meave down as soon as possible to get her counter going early on. So if we give her the leader ability, that gives her the inspired status. And also just make sure she's a bit protected as well, as she can be quite the target for the enemies, because the enemies tend to know how powerful she is. And next, I am going to play one of our very next important engines, Visigota. Because every card that's played by me and the enemy after Viz is going to give him one charge to boost an allied unit by one. So very, very important to get him down as early as you can. And now I think we can put the Karak Frigate down in melee row. And use Viz to boost it. And there we see the first boost from Queen Meave. It is uh, really, really cool and gets even cooler when we have more units on the board. Okay, and I think we can use Eggmund as the soldier to put next to Frigate here. It's gonna it's gonna boost Karak Frigate um, each turn that we don't use his order ability. And again, look, Viz has just already racked up another another two points here. They have also got a lot of boosts in as well, which I respect. Okay, at this point I am going to put Donmir down in range draw to protect Meave and Viz. As we obviously want them to, uh, to to go the full distance in this round, we want them to last as long as possible. Alert, 
Okay, I'm getting a, a bit anxious about Temerian Drummer. He has 10 points and he's boosting Immortals every turn. So I'm going to actually use Prince here to kill Temerian Drummer. So we're going to give him a shield wall. So he has shields. Now when he uh, duels Temerian Drummer, that damage never never took effect with Prince because he has, he has shields. And there's that lovely boost from Neve again, which gets better and better every time as we get more cards on the board. And now I need to put Reynard down because he's also an engine. Let's put him between Donmir and Meave. So every card that we play after Reynard will boost itself by one. Okay, Selkirk is another dual card, so I wonder which cards they are going to duel. Hopefully not a Kerak or, or Meave or Reynard or Egmond of his. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let's put Foltest Pride out. I'm also not sure what I want to get with AA here. I should probably get a Trident. Uh, I'm thinking I should do that now. Let's get Trident. And let's use Reynard to boost him. Get another damage going. There we go. And now we can use Viz's um, charges t for Trident. Because every time Trident's boosted, as we can see here, he damages a random enemy unit by one. Oh, they've got Prince as well. Uh oh. This doesn't look well. Okay, they just they just work together to kill our prince, which wasn't too bad. Which means we've got room for one more volunteer. You can have only up to nine cards on one row, by the way, guys, if you didn't know that. Uh, so let's put Foltest Pride down in between two soldiers. Wait, let me just check. Reynard, yeah, Reynard is a soldier. I wasn't sure if he was a knight or a soldier, but he is both. There we go. <gasps> and that boost is incredible towards the end of the round. See, we've already racked up 100 points. And uh, we've still got more to go. Now to finish off, we can spawn one more volunteer. You can use Eggman's ability to damage a unit by three. We can use Viz's charges for Trident and we can use the last shield wall on Trident just to have one more damage and Voimir, Voimir is going to boost all these volunteers, you ready guys? Lovely, there we go, this is what I like to see 127 points we have managed to get here wow and that was a solid solid victory and that's it for this video guys. I hope anybody who is new to Gwent has enjoyed watching and also has learned something from me. I hope you have learned more about Northern Realms engine cards. Hopefully you found the gameplay useful and thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really really help me. I will leave um, the link for the full deck list on the Playground website in the description and I will also leave the link to my Twitch channel where I do stream Gwent live every Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. So yeah, check me out if you want to catch me live and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.